Governor Mark Dayton. Thank you very much, Governor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, what a fantastic turnout you have here tonight. And I, I know my Mark friends, although I must confess, you know, whenever I go somewhere or reconnect with people, I, I, I most remember the moments that were most embarrassing to me by association. And when I saw the moon dogs mascot here, I was invited back when I was in the Senate to throw out the opening pitch for the moon dogs one game. And I practiced and I practiced because I was not going to do a John Kerry three bouncer before the plate. But what they didn't tell me was that they paired me with the former twins pitcher Juan Berenger. <laughs> and as he smoked his 95 mile an hour fastball down the whole plate, mine looked like it was in slow motion all the way. And then uh, when I was uh, campaigning about a year and a half ago, I showed up in Mankato in August and had called a press conference a couple days before. It happened to coincide with the arrival of Brett Favre in training camp. And uh, to try to hold a press conference in front of a bunch of uh, press disguised as empty chairs, you know, the embarrassment that you feel. So despite that, however, I have a very, very warm place in my heart for Mankato. And it starts with one of your all-time great citizens, most distinguished leader, Congressman Tim Walls, who's just been such an outstanding leader for your district, the whole state. As without a doubt, one of the most wonderful wives and two of the two, cutest children in the state of Mankato, Minnesota, and in all of Mankato. And I have to also give special recognition, even though she's still working in the office tonight, to my longtime associate, graduate of Minnesota State University of Mankato, Dana Anderson, my campaign manager, now my deputy chief of staff. She graduated in the 2000 and we made one mistake in her life. She went to work for me and forced it to be. We're still working together after all this time. And she's one of the distinguished graduates of your great university. And to have a chance to work with your outstanding legislative delegation, Kathy, Senator Kathy Sheridan, who's here, and uh, Representative Kathy Reiner, Representative Terry Morrow, providing some outstanding leadership for getting not only your city, but for our entire state. And to Jonathan, the civic pride that all of you uh, indicate by your presence here tonight, the spirit of Mankato is, is such a, a tremendous asset. And it, it starts with a great university, and it starts with a public school system, and all the, the education, the synergy that comes from our commitment to education, which is so crucial to the vitality of our state. It comes with your strong business leadership, large businesses, and medium-sized, and others have made such significant contributions to the economy of the region, to Lourdes County, the entire state of Minnesota, and all of you who are business owners and executives, we thank you. Thank you on behalf of all of Minnesota for your important contributions to the jobs and the fuel our state and for your contributions in so many other ways to the vitality of Mankato. So let's give the business community here a round of applause. <laughs> and the fact that we're in these challenging economic times, you're all gathered here, we're all pulling together. One Mankato, one Lourdes County, one Minnesota. In the greater Mankato, I see friends from St. Peter, I see friends from Wasika, the entire region, recognizing the, the common stake we have in the Highway 14 that goes four lanes from border to border, in the investment we're making in the downtown Mankato Civic Center, in the State University of Mankato, in, in the other projects that are, are going to propel this state's economy forward. And so it is in that spirit of, of cooperation and camaraderie and the sense of unity that we all share, whatever our differences, whatever our different points of view, which is, of course, the great strength of democracy. What we share is a love for our state, a love for the city of Mankato, a desire to make it better for our children, for our grandchildren.